Millions of years ago, a protoceratops laid eggs in what is now the Gobi Desert. These eggs remained preserved in time and were eventually discovered by scientists and brought to the American Museum of Natural History in New York. In 2017, experts used a new approach to study these fossilized eggs and made astonishing discoveries that could challenge our understanding of dinosaurs. The study of dinosaur eggs had long been a mystery, with limited scientific knowledge about their development. Gregory Erickson, a biology professor from Florida State University, led a research team to unravel these mysteries. They examined embryos from different dinosaur species and determined their ages, leading to fascinating conclusions about dinosaur reproduction and shedding light on the mass extinction event. Dinosaur fossils have always captivated humans, and advancements in research and technology have allowed us to uncover new secrets. The field of paleontology began in the mid-19th century when researchers in Britain first identified dinosaur bones. Initially, experts believed that dinosaurs reproduced like modern-day reptiles. However, it wasn't until 1859 that the first fossilized eggs were discovered in France. These eggs were misidentified as bird eggs and remained overlooked for many years. It took another 64 years before a clutch of dinosaur eggs was correctly identified by researchers from the American Museum of Natural History in Mongolia. From that point on, dinosaur eggs started emerging from various parts of the world, providing valuable insights into their development. Some eggs contained fossilized remains of developing creatures, giving scientists the opportunity to theorize about the incubation process. In 2013, David J. Varicchio from Montana State University proposed an alternative theory. He suggested that certain dinosaur eggs had pores, indicating that they were buried underground during incubation, similar to modern reptiles. Despite ongoing debates, the incubation process of dinosaurs remained a mystery. Gregory Erickson wondered if he could study dinosaur embryos in the same way humans examine teeth to determine age. He reached out to experts at the University of Calgary in Canada and the American Museum of Natural History to test his theory. Although fossilized dinosaur embryos are extremely rare, both institutions assisted Erickson in his research. They examined a dozen eggs discovered in the Gobi Desert, Mongolia, and fossils from the Canadian province of Alberta. Using a CT scanner, the research team analyzed the dentition in the embryo's jaws and extracted teeth for closer examination. By counting the layers of dentin in the teeth, they were able to determine the embryo's ages and the duration of their development. This breakthrough provided crucial insights into the early stages of dinosaur growth, which were previously poorly understood due to the rarity of dinosaur embryos. The study revealed that approximately 40% of the incubation period of these dinosaurs was dedicated to tooth development. The team estimated that these dinosaurs took longer to hatch compared to avian eggs of similar size. The smaller Hypocrosaurus took around three months to hatch, while the larger Protoceratops could have spent up to six months developing inside the egg. These findings represent the first time that researchers have been able to determine specific incubation times for non-avian dinosaurs. The discovery and study of fossilized dinosaur eggs have provided valuable insights into dinosaur reproduction and development. Gregory Erickson's research team used dentin analysis to determine the ages of dinosaur embryos and deduce the incubation periods. These findings challenge previous assumptions and enhance our understanding of how dinosaurs lived and reproduced. However, that's not all. While the Hypocrosaurus was a large dinosaur, it wasn't the largest. Larger eggs generally require more time to hatch, suggesting that some dinosaurs could have had even longer incubation periods. Gregory Erickson, along with his team, speculated that these periods could have extended to nearly 12 months, which was surprising to many. However, David J. Varicchio, who believed that dinosaur reproduction was more similar to reptiles than birds, found this news less shocking. Modern reptiles also spend several months incubating their eggs, further supporting the idea that dinosaurs had reptilian reproductive processes. In the field of paleontology, it has been commonly believed that birds are the closest living relatives to dinosaurs. 
Therefore, it was expected that dinosaurs might have had similar reproductive characteristics to birds. However, thanks to Erickson's research, it can now be theorized that dinosaurs shared more similarities with reptiles. Avian eggs usually have short incubation periods, ranging from 10 to 30 days, while modern reptiles, considered dinosaur cousins, typically have incubation periods of one to two months. Apart from incubation time, the way reptiles interact with their offspring differs from dinosaurs. Modern reptiles bury their fertilized eggs underground and often abandon them, leaving them to their fate. However, evidence suggests that dinosaurs, unlike their modern reptile counterparts, remained with their young throughout the incubation period. Some species even exhibited parental care, protecting their young from predators. The extended incubation period of nearly a year raises questions about how dinosaurs managed to remain in one location for such a long period. The discoveries made by Erickson and his team have challenged existing theories. It was previously speculated that some dinosaurs spent summers in the Arctic and migrated south to Canada during colder periods. However, considering the lengthy incubation periods, it seems unlikely that dinosaurs could have migrated at all. Staying in one place for months would have made them vulnerable to starvation, natural disasters, and predators. These challenges would have put them at a disadvantage when the asteroid impact occurred approximately 66 million years ago. The asteroid impact resulted in debris filling the atmosphere, causing darkness, plummeting temperatures, and disrupting ecosystems. This event led to the extinction of 75% of living things on Earth. The surviving creatures were adaptable and fast to reproduce, such as the ancestors of contemporary birds with short incubation periods. However, dinosaurs with slow incubation times like Hypocrosaurus and Protoceratops would have struggled to reproduce efficiently. Erickson believes that the slow incubation periods may have played a role in their extinction. Additionally, dinosaurs were energy inefficient and took a long time to mature, making it challenging for them to adapt to significant environmental changes. Millions of years after the mass extinction, dinosaurs like Hypocrosaurus and Protoceratops have long vanished from the Earth. However, Ongoing research by scientists such as those at FSU continues to expand our knowledge about these ancient creatures. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, and share the video. And remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.